So any of you who have known someone who's had a, a bad diagnosis starts thinking about their life very differently, right? Um, I have a best friend from childhood. We've been very close since the age of 10. And um, on Super Bowl Sunday, uh, she texted me to say, I'm in the intensive care unit. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen. She's not, she's not touchy-feely, lovey-dovey at all. But she said, just in case I die, I want you to know that I love you. And that's, you know, to hear from, from her uh, something that I've never heard her say before also sort of made it clear to me that she was in a bad way. And, um, and she had some major health stuff. And fortunately, uh, I think is, is going to be OK. Um, but those diagnoses, those moments, those kind of wake-up calls um, um, put things into perspective. And I don't think we want to go through life, sort of, uh, maybe unless you're a poet, um, hoping for drama and tragedy <laughs> so that you kind of constantly put your life in focus, right? Uh, I, don't, I don't know that we, we want to wish for that, but is there a way that we can kind of have the end in view uh, and make make better decisions. So, so I don't know how many of you realized that yesterday was Ash Wednesday. Mm. Did you see some people with yeah. like the smudges? Uh, so I was uh, I went to Ash Wednesday service last night. I'm a practicing Christian, and went to Ash Wednesday service. And it's the liturgy is kind of all doom and gloom, right? I mean, if you it's a lot of doom and gloom. You know, death to sin, death to self. It's, it's really all about death. And why is it all about death? Well, it's only all about death because it's the preparation for Christians for the 40 days of, of fasting and sort of restitution as they approach Easter. That's what uh, Lent is about. And Ash Wednesday is kind of the kickoff. That's why you have Fat Tuesday or Mardi Gras on Tuesday, right? Party, party, party. <laughs> and then you know, the ashes and death and this season of preparation. So I was sitting there last night thinking, I, I probably should have been listening to the priest, but I was thinking about tonight's <laughs> event um, and thinking if there's no resurrection, right, this is pretty bad. Why would you have a day set aside, you know, from dust you came to dust you will return. Mm -hmm. You are mortal, you, you're human, you are going to turn into ash and then have the ash smudged on your forehead and then I got it on my fingernails. And uh, Why would you do that if there's no resurrection? And so then, yeah, I was just kind of thinking about uh, what, what does death make clear for us? Mm -hmm. um, because if if there's nothing, then then it, it can be it can be total. I mean, it's just it is always disruptive, as you said really eloquently, Susanna. But yeah. So I mean, in my book, I, I was really taken. There's a, a professor here at Harvard, John Levinson, who writes on Jewish conceptions of the resurrection in the first century. Uh, this is before you know Christians came on the scene and and had their conception of the resurrection, but there were. There was this conception of the resurrection that in, in, the, in the last days, all of the faithful will be resurrected. And, and there's some disagreement among um, the, the first century Jewish leaders. Is it all the Jewish faithful? Or is, it, is there going to be a general resurrection of the dead of, of everybody? Mm -hmm. And then you have Jesus, the Jewish man, dies and is resurrected, and that sort of turns um, on the Christian accounting, right? That sort of turns the tables on what this conception of the resurrection is. But anyway, if there's, if there's nothing, um, I, I once was in conversation with a philosopher at uh, Yale, um, Shelley Kagan. Uh -huh. Do you know Shelley? Yeah. And he's like, the body is like a lamp. When it's broken, it's done, right? You know, like, yeah. you're done. Uh, throw it away. And I, I love him. He's so great. Uh, he's so great. But, but that's a different way to think about it. And is that, is, that, is that okay? Does that give us peace? Mm. 